Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we will have a look how we can target dark skin areas like acne and use some simple adjustments to make them disappear. Let's start. The idea is to make a selection of the acne. Once we have a selection of it, we can apply an adjustment to remove them. So, how can we select the acne? Well, one way is to manually select it. Besides being a tedious job, it will also be difficult to get a good selection. So let's do this in a smarter way. As the acne is darker than the regular skin, we can try to separate it out. Let's have a look at the channels. Remember, if the channels panel is not enabled in your setup, you can always use the studio menu from the view menu and enable the channels panel. If I zoom in a bit and go one by one through the channels, we see that the green and blue channels have the best contrast between the regular skin and the acne. I will choose the green channel as the green channel has the brightest skin. Depending on your photo, the blue channel might work better for you. Let me reset the channel filter and from the green channel I'm going to create a grayscale layer. To do that, we can right click on the background green and select create grayscale layer. This will now add a new layer to our layer stack. If I disable the newly added layer, we can see our original image in color. Perfect. Now we are going to increase the darker areas. The first step to achieve that is to apply a high pass filter. This has two purposes. One, it creates a grayscale image and two, it brings the edges to the front. In the high pass dialog, we need to increase the slider until we have a grayscale image and clearly see the acne. The next step is to use the apply image filter. We will use current layer as our source and select the hard light or vivid light blend mode. I'm going to use the vivid light blend mode as this has a bit more contrast. After this has been applied, I will apply it again. Great. I have this very contrasty image now where the problem areas are also nice in black. Using the lasso select tool, I will draw around the problematic area to get the selection. As I'm only interested in this area, I want to clear the rest, which I can do by first inverting the selection using the Select Invert Pixel Selection menu. Next, let's make sure white is our primary color and then use the added Fill with Primary Color menu. This will fill our selection with white. Perfect. This image will now be the base for our mask. As this contains a lot of skin area, I'm going to add a curves layer to filter out the skin, so only the blacks are shown. This looks about right. We have the spots in black and removed most of the skin. Let's group these two layers and set its blend mode to erase. And change its blend range so this layer becomes kind of a mask. I prefer using this method as this is much more flexible. Using this method will give me flexibility later to dynamically adjust the mask. As this acts like a mask, it filters out the rest of the image except the problem areas. The mask has currently hard edges. To soften it, I will add a Gaussian blur to this group. However, sadly, when I apply the Gaussian Blur filter, the Erase Blend mode somehow stops working and everything gets erased. I'm guessing this is a glitch, but anyway. A workaround is to add another group on top of it. But first, we need to reset the Blend mode to Normal and reset the Blend range before adding a group on top of it. With the group selected, I will press the Command G to group the current group into a new group. In this new group, I'm going to set the blend mode to erase and change the blend range. Let me also rename it so I will remember what the purpose is of this group. 
perfect. This will be our mask for our next adjustment, which will be the curves adjustment I'm adding right now. In the curves adjustment, I will brighten things up and then move the erase mask group to this curves adjustment as a clipped child. You immediately see the effect. The added group acts like a mask as we intended. Only the areas targeted are now brightened. Let's open up the curves layer again. Changing the curve only affects the problem area we selected in the erase mask group. Let me reset it and increase the shadows. That looks already much better. The color in the mask area has become a bit pink, so I will adjust the red and blue channel to match it better with the rest of the skin. Have a look at the before and the after. Not bad, and depending on your situation, this might be enough to fix your acne problem. But let me share a couple of additional steps on how you can further fine-tune the results. First of all, we have the blur in the erase mask, which we can adjust. Secondly, we have the curves layer, which determines how much of the skin is affected. Another tip is to add an HSL adjustment and use the same mask by duplicating it from the curves adjustment and moving it to the HSL adjustment. Let me adjust the HSL in a way we can clearly see what it is affecting. With the curves and the Gaussian blur, we can adjust the area the HSL is going to affect. We also want to remove the red color around the acne, so I'm going to make the targeted area a bit larger using the curves layer in the erase group. Once I have fine-tuned the area I want, I will go back to the HSL adjustment and really fine-tune the color to match the rest of the skin. Wonderful! Let's zoom out and look how the HSL affects the image. Pretty cool! I will now use a merge visible to create a new layer which will contain all the adjustments we applied. In this layer, I'm going to use the healing brush to remove the remaining acne and the other incorrections. As a finishing touch, I will set its blend mode to lighten and we are done. Here is the before, and here is the after. Like magic. I think we did a pretty good job. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Keep being creative, and until next time.